Hello from Freedom Group. We are a group of four companies where we have been providing quality tax, accounting, immigration, real estate, insurance, and financial planning services now for over 20 years. If you are a foreign investor looking to start an immigration process uh, in the U.S., then one of the two, uh, the two most common investor visas are the E-2 visa and the EB-5 visa. These are two good visas that you could use to start your immigration process in the United States, but the E-2 visa and the EB-5 visa have major differences. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the seven major differences between the E-2 visa and the EB-5 visa. To do that, we're gonna bring in our immigration attorney, Mr. Robert Montalvo, how are you, Robert? I'm good, Carlos. How are you? Good. Robert is our immigration attorney here at Freedom Immigration. So, uh, Robert, as you know, a lot of uh, foreign investors want to come in the U.S. using an investor visa. And the two of the most common vehicles that they use is the E-2 visa and the EB-5 visa. Uh, so the first major difference between the E-2 visa and the EB-5 visa is concerning their immigration status. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Of course. The, the E-2 visa is a non-immigrant visa, which means it does not lead you to a green card or permanent residency. Okay. You come into the U.S. and you can stay for the duration of your visa, but the E-2 specifically, you can continue to extend it, but like I said, it would never lead you directly to a green card. Versus the EB-5 visa, the whole point of the visa is to obtain your green card and be able to stay in the U.S. permanently. Okay. And also another difference between the E-2 visa and the EB-5 is concerning nationality. What's that about? Well, yes, because the E-2 visa, to be able to apply for one, you're, the country you're from must have an E-2 treaty with the United States. You can, you can get this on the State Department's website or just literally Googling E-2 treaty countries. Okay. Versus the EB-5 visa, it does not matter what country you're from. Okay. And another difference between the E-2 visa and the EB-5 visa is concerning how many jobs uh, these new businesses have to create in order to make these visas work. So in, in terms of job creation, uh, jo job creation requirements, what's the difference from the E-2 visa to the EB-5 visa? Well, the E-2 visa is a little simpler in that case. It has no job creation requirements versus the EB-5 visa requires you to, make, to create 10 full-time positions for U.S. workers. Okay. And obviously, I think this is the most common question we get in our office concerning the E-2 visa and the EB-5 visa, and it's how much is the minimum investment needed to get an E-2 visa and how much is the investment amount needed for the EB-5 visa? Well, again, the E-2 visa is a little simpler in, that, in this case. There's no specific amount required. The U.S. government just requires it to be a substantial amount. In our experience, we recommend between 100 to 150,000 on the low end, but it also depends on what type of business it is. For the EB-5, it, the minimum is $1 million, unless the investment is in a targeted employment area, in which case it would be half a million dollar minimum. Okay. And obviously, these, this investment has to come from somewhere. And I know immigration has specific rules where the money comes from. So what are like the source of funds requirements for the EB-2 and the, EB, the, the E-2 and the EB-5 visa? Well, in this case, both of them require that the funds come from, from lawful sources like employment, sale of property, sale of business, sale of other investments, gift, or an unsecured loan. I say unsecured because the loan cannot be secured by the investment. If it, if it does, then it would not qualify. Okay. And also, I think the second most common question we get in Freedom Immigration concerning the E-2 visa and the EB-5 is how long does the process take? Well, the E-2 visa is a lot faster than the EB-5. The USCIS process takes around three months, but you can apply for premium processing, in which case it would only be 15 days. Mm -hmm. And then the consular processing takes around three months, but it heavily depends on which embassy the appointment is at. On the other hand, the, e, the EB-5, once you apply at USCIS, it's around 18 months. And then to adjust, it depends. If you're in the U.S., it could take six months. If you're out, it could take about 18 months to get the consular appointment. 
once you get your green card, it's given to you conditionally for two years. And then after that, you can apply to remove the conditions. Currently, it's taking about two and a half years additionally to remove the conditions. So for the EB-5, we're talking about multiple years to get your green card versus the E-2. We're talking around six months, again, depending on where you get your interview. Okay. And I think the the last difference between the E-2 visa and the EB-5 visa is concerning where can these investors work? Like, what's their work authorization once they get their visa? Yeah. Well, the E-2 visa, you have to work for the company that petitioned you. Meanwhile, the EB-5, you can work for, for whoever you want for, for any company as long as you continue to manage the EB-5 company that brought you here. Okay. Now, in your experience, Robert, uh, which visa is better? Is the E-2 visa or the EB-5 visa? Well, better the EB-5 visa because it gets you a green card. Which one is simpler and easier to obtain? The E-2 visa because it has a lot less requirements. Okay. So it's really whether you want uh, speed and ability to obtain or if you want the end result of the green card. Okay, very good. Now, if somebody wants to get an E2 visa or start the process for the EB-5 visa, what do they need to do? Call Freedom Immigration at 407-910-4770. Very good. So now you know. The, those are the seven... Uh, major differences between the E-2 visa and the EB-5 investor visa for immigration in the United States. I am going to put the link to the Freedom Immigration website on the description of this video. Uh, if you want to schedule your consultation, contact Freedom Immigration at 407-910-4770. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day. God bless you. Bye-bye.